Hey, what's up guys? Ben from my sports stop here with Richie Dinell. Today we're going to be talking about Obi Melinfanwu yep. from UConn. Um, if you hadn't heard of him during the season, you yeah. heard of him at the combine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is, you know, and surprisingly, I, I thought I would end up moving him a little bit more, but I already had him ranked uh, as the sixth best safety in okay. this class before the combine oh, wow. uh, and ended up just moving him up above Marcus Williams, who yeah. is a phenomenal player in yeah. his own right uh, after the combine. So for me, there really wasn't much of a change. But this guy was a combine warrior. Yes. And and with his size at, at 6'3", 217, the things that he was able to do, uh, I think if you're a defense coordinator, you got to be drooling if you oh, get this absolutely. guy. Absolutely. And he, he is just a complete freak athlete. He yeah. ran a 4'4", four, four, yeah. uh, and he's six foot four. Um, you just do not see that anywhere um, with any NFL players yeah. right now yeah. uh, playing at safety. And what's more is he was a four-year starter. Yeah, and and you know when you when you look at what he's been able to do, uh, 118 tackles last year to go along with four interceptions. Yeah. Uh, remind you know when you look at those numbers, you're like, wow, that's a lot of tackles for safety. But it reminds me of somebody like Rashad Jones, the the safety from the Dolphins, yeah. who, who had over 100 tackles, and, and just a lot of people thought, well, he should get Defensive Player of the Year consideration. It's that same kind of mold where he's he's almost a sideline to sideline safety. Uh, you know, right. similar to how we say sideline to sideline linebacker, yeah. these guys can play sideline to sideline from the secondary. And that's a good comparison, Rashad Jones. Think Rashad Jones in the body of Cam Chancellor. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, and that is absolutely terrifying. But um, OB mostly played at free safety. Yep. And you think with that size, you know, is he is he more of a strong safety? Right. Some people with the speed thought you put him at cornerback. Right. Um, where do you see him playing in the? Yeah, I, I think he's going to stick to free safety. Um, I, I had the same thought. I'm thinking, okay, six four, two fifteen. I'm going to throw on this guy's tape, and I'm just going to see helmets flying, shoulder pads popping off, and this dude just yeah. killing people. Yeah, but but that's not what I saw. He he's right. more of a finesse player. Yeah. he's a sound tackler. Uh, who does things the right way, mm -hmm. and, and that's not a knock on him. You just usually think with somebody of that size, you think of somebody who's just going to smoke everybody right. and hit stick everybody. But really, he's he's just a good, sound football player, and I think free safety is going to be huge for him, giving him that ability to sit in center field, read and react, Absolutely. Uh, make tackles, and then go make plays on the ball and try to create turnovers. Yeah, and I mean, he's he's going to be high-pointing the ball like nobody else. Yes. <laughs> uh, so where do you see him going? Yeah, I think he helped his stock a lot. Uh, I, I originally had him as a back end of the first round, but I think with the combine, somebody is going to fall in yeah. love with him. Uh, he would definitely be an Oakland-type player if Al Davis were still alive to this day, yeah. uh, but isn't. So, I, But I think he... He put himself into the conversation to go in the 15 to 20 range. Mm -hmm. uh, whether he's that level of a football player, uh, I think football player-wise, he's a 20 to 30. Or, But I think because of the athleticism that he showed, somebody will take a chance on him, I think, in the 15 to 20. And I, I couldn't even put it down to 15 to 20. I think he's just going to go somewhere in the first round. Yeah. Um, you know, I think of last year, you know, guys like Carl Joseph and Keanu Neal yeah. were picked a little earlier than maybe expected. All I know is Obi's he's going to be overdrafted yeah. simply because of his measurables and yeah. his amazing combine results. Somebody's going to fall in love with right. him, but I think it would help if he goes to a team with you know a defensive back guru, somebody like Dick LeBeau yeah. or Mike Tomlin, somebody who knows what they're doing at the defensive back position, and just let him play and get better and develop with these incredible measurables. Yeah, no, I completely agree with you. When you have somebody like that, that that's just so physically gifted and, yeah. and has that elite athleticism, uh, and you don't want to really mess anything up and, and just let him be. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and go to our website, mysportstop.com, for more original videos.